welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. If you're new, I'm so happy you're here. This video is geared towards beginners. So if you're not a beginner in the gym, this workout might be pretty easy. There are no supersets or anything like that. It's very cut and dry, but it's a longer workout because it's full body. So we're hitting the shoulders. We're hitting the tricep back. We're hitting the glutes. We're hitting the quads. We're hitting the hamstrings. We're hitting the calves. All of it. So there are nine different exercises in this workout. So it's pretty long, but we're only doing three sets of each. So that means we're gonna do each exercise three different times for 10 to 12 reps per time, if that makes sense. But I'll show you everything right now. No need to be overwhelmed. I'm gonna show you everything step by step, take you through it, and I'm going to write everything down in the description box as well so that you can screenshot it and take it with you to the gym after you watch this video so you're not nervous or intimidated once you get there. Or you can do it at home if you have a set of dumbbells on you. Let's hop into the workout. Today we're doing a full body beginners dumbbell only workout. I'm gonna start with shoulders. I'm gonna start with shoulder press. It's super simple. Grab your dumbbells like this, put them over your head with your elbows in alignment with your shoulders. So, and then you just press up to meet at the top. You don't want to smash your dumbbells together because that's a short sign that you don't know what you're doing. So try not to smash them at the top. And do it 10 to 12 reps of all of these exercises. like you know exactly what you're doing in the gym. Seriously, this will make you look like you've already been in the gym for like two years. Put a slight bend in your knees, engage your core, um, relax your shoulders back a little bit, and stick your chest out. And this is just kind of a general thing for like cable machines, for really any movement, and it'll make you look like you know what you're doing and make your form that much more on point. So just keep in mind, plant your feet, put a slight bend in your knees, engage your core, relax your shoulders back, and stick your chest out just a little bit, and then boom, you look like you're an experienced gym junkie. So the next movement is gonna be an alternating shoulder raise. Do one to the front, and then one to the side. So we'll do them at the same time. One to the front, and one to the side, and then you just switch arms. I know it's a little bit more complicated than most beginners would like, but since this is a full body workout, we need to make sure that we're hitting all the heads of your shoulder. right now like and I'm feeling it don't feel embarrassed if you're starting lighter it's totally fine you can do 10 to 12 reps of this so now we're going to do rows there's a couple different variations of rows these are called rows because when you're seated doing with a cable row for example it looks like you're rowing a canoe or a boat or any kind of vessel that floats on water. <laughs> so we're not gonna be doing seated rows. Our kind of rows that we're doing today are bent over dumbbell rows, thank you honey. Put one hand on the bench, one knee on the bench, and then you're gonna pick up your dumbbell. I like to put a little bit of distance in, with my foot between our bench just because you don't wanna use your glute muscles or your lower back to lift the weight. You wanna solely focus on lifting the weight with your back. So honey, my lovely assistant, can you poke right where we're gonna to need to focus the weight? If you need to have someone do this, it really does help to have that mind to muscle connection. If someone pokes right where you need to be focusing. So you just roll the weight slowly and really focus on squeezing the muscle at the top and not using any other body except for your back. Start by laying on the ground. Make sure 
Remember that your arm is straight up and down in alignment with your shoulder, right? And then you're just gonna bend like a hinge at your elbow. And then you're gonna come to reach just about your head height. Slow and controlled, you're not gonna wanna move your shoulder all over the place. Lock it in place into the ground and then hinge at your elbow slowly. There are other variations that you can do of this particular exercise. I prefer this because I feel like it targets my tricep the best. You can even hold it at your elbow so you're making sure you're not swaying, moving, rocking. For all of these exercises, you need to make sure that you're challenging yourself with the amount of weight you're using. Even if you are just beginning in the gym, maybe starting with the second week, start challenging yourself with the weight. That's how you're gonna start seeing results. So the sooner you start pushing yourself, the better. Um, intensity is everything in the game of fitness and seeing results in general. So make sure that you're pushing yourself with the amount of weight you're using with every exercise. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the lower body, uh, starting with our quads, which is this muscle right here. and your hamstrings depending on how you stretch. And what I mean by that is, if you're gonna do a closer stance, it's gonna be more for your quads. So if you're closer together like this, it's gonna be more for your quads. But if we're doing a walking lunge and you're doing a stretch, a big stretch and pushing up through your glutes, that's gonna be more for your glutes. So really just do whatever feels best for you. are doing is a straight legged deadlift. It's really important that you incorporate some form of deadlifts into your workouts. It's a compound movement that's going to hit all the muscle, muscle, all, all the important muscle. It's going to hit your shoulders, it's going to hit your glutes and your hamstrings really hard. So let me show you how to do it. It's intimidating at first, I know, but you have to try it. That's why it's good to sneak off into a side room or even if you're doing this at home. Like I said before, your stance, a slight bend in your knees. You're going to want to push your shoulders back and stick your chest out just a little bit. Engage your core. It's very, very important when you're deadlifting. You're going to hinge at your hips. It's like kind of you're sticking your butt out, okay? And you'll feel really, really good stretch in your hamstrings. And then pull up and squeeze those cheeks, sister. It's very important. Or brother. Just squeeze your cheeks, whoever you are. so important that you're not bending your back like this, right? So bad, this hurts just doing this. So you need to engage your back, flat back, not over arched, flat back. Okay, so next we're on to the booty. Super exciting. We're gonna do a glute bridge you're gonna start with your shoulders on the end of the bench. And we're gonna do single leg glute bridge because with a dumbbell, it's kind of hard to push yourself with the weight because it's not gonna be like super heavy. And your glutes, my glutes are really strong. So I find that if I do single legged, I get a better burn in my glutes. Plus I can overextend a little bit, which I personally need, don't know why. Make sure that you're going your full range of motion. So make sure your butt's getting close to the ground, not touching the ground. Getting close, unless you've got a long torso, which I don't. So something that's gonna help you focus the movement on your glute is the placement of your foot. If you turn it outward slightly, it's gonna focus more <laughs> on your glutes. Great angle, honey. Great choice. So next we're going to do our calves. These are just calf raises. They're really simple. It's an up, down, up, down movement. I personally find that I get a better range of motion if I'm on top of something. You definitely don't have to do this by any means, but I have flexible calves, so overextending at the bottom a little bit helps me.
for today's video if you enjoyed it which i hope you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new i upload usually about two videos a week definitely one i do a lot of motherhood and fitness style content but i'm planning a wedding right now so that's why my content has been a little bit more vlog style but i love health and fitness my goal for my youtube channel is to help my subscribers become their most healthy and thriving selves and overall just teach you how to live a more vibrant life i have a very practical approach to healthy living and fitness and i like to share that with you guys and show you that it doesn't have to be crazy complicated and show you easy ways to commit to your health and commit to yourself so if that's something you're interested in doing make sure you subscribe stick around and turn on your notification bell to be the first to be notified every time i upload a new video it's just that little bell next to the subscribe button you hit that and it'll say hey liz all the year just uploaded a new video make sure you stick around and we'll see you on tuesday bye and don't believe in make believe, just make your hands meet. Say a week and then the week and never stress a thing. And we gon' go another day when we don't disagree. And when the sun shines, regardless if you do believe, hey.